As the gaming industry continues to develop, the lines between genres and playstyles can blur. I don't think there is a single popular shooter on the market that doesn't possess RPG mechanics. Starfield and Skyrim are absolutely RPGs, but they are also heavily action-focused. We see the same in adult games with visual novels, with dating sim mechanics. Some type of metric exists for variables like favor, corruption, or love in all of the most popular visual novels. However, it's rare to see a dating sim trying to embrace the depth of narrative that comes with a visual novel. Normally, dating sims focus on the mechanics, and once you cross some type of threshold, you reach the game's conclusion. With the Love and Sex second base, developer Andre Alpes attempts to craft an immersive narrative within the dating sim format. And this is a dating sim first and foremost. Each romanceable character has love points which show general affection, and king points which are an indicator of the power dynamics in the relationship. In general, the higher the love score, the further along in the relationship you are, and the higher the kink score, the more likely a romanceable character is going to defer to your decisions. Each character's scores are capped until unlocking relationship and story thresholds. There are also branching narrative paths that include over 10 different harem combinations. As far as I can tell, there are hundreds if not thousands of different relationship combinations and arcs that you can experience. There are more than 20 romanceable characters if you play as a male MC. Each of these romanceable characters represents a combination of potential flavors and themes. For example, Sasha can explore femdom and power exchange, Harmony can explore sexual purity and corruption, and Alexis can explore all of the different ways to cheat on you. The female MC path is being developed as DLC, so currently it is much more limited. But there are a ton of endings in the male MC game, as well as new characters planned for upcoming DLC. Flavor-wise, this is one of those games where almost every flavor you can imagine is available to some degree, but there is definitely a focus on the main character having various harems. Every ending and relationship combination also has some type of pregnancy variant as well. So while you will be able to explore a ton of more niche flavors with various characters, think of these as more side plots to the main harem experience. Love and Sex Second Base does have some stat grinding issues common to dating sims. This can be especially apparent as you try to maintain all of the main character's variables without cheating, because certain plot lines and character combinations require very specific timing and stats. This becomes increasingly difficult as you attempt to juggle more and more of the various harem configurations. There are cheats available to help you along the way, but that will disable achievements as well as the new game plus mode. However, even with all of these challenges, the story and overall pacing put this game as one of the best dating simulators currently on the market. Overall, this is one of the top adult gaming experiences currently on Steam, and I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys dating sims and harem building. Just make sure to watch out for the bears. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all.